Hello everybody, this is Bo Kaufman of Remax Performance Realty. I'm going to talk about condo documents. It's come to my attention that some private sellers are selling condos without providing the proper condo documents to their respective buyers. If buyers are looking on their own and don't know the, uh, these requirements, they can get stuck buying a condo without these important documents. The problem arises for both parties because if at the time of possession the buyer discovers the facts surrounding the condos were not exactly as presented, the buyer can back out of the deal, citing lack of condo doc presentation as their reason for backing out. There are six items that a condo seller must by law provide to the condo buyer at the time of acceptance of the offer. The buyer upon receiving these condo documents then has 48 hours to look them over. These 48 hours don't count weekends or holidays. And during this time, the buyer can withdraw their offer for any reason and get a full refund of their uh, deposit. So here are the six uh, items that you need in order of importance, at least in my opinion. Uh, number six is the management agreement. This is the agreement between the condo corporation and the current management company. These agreements usually run between one and five years. I consider this to be the least important because as a single owner, you have very little influence over the management company. Plus, if they really did do a bad job, the corporation simply doesn't renew the contract. Number five, the condo declaration. This is fairly standard legalese that was drafted at the time when the condo came into being. It tells how the condo board meetings are held, how bylaws are issued and other legal issues. It's fairly standard. Number four are the bylaws and rules. It's a funny thing. It seems that somebody way back drafted a, set, a standard set of bylaws and then every condo uses them. The original set were obviously drafted for a high-rise condo building. And so you will see things like no laundry to be hung from the balcony. What's funny is when you look at buying a standalone bungalow and you see this as part of the bylaws. For the most part, these are fairly standard, but as the condo grows and matures, owners can update and, uh, these rules and write new ones. Number three on the list is the financial statements. This is usually a couple of pages long and shows where all the money has gone in the past year or two. So it will show the total amount of money received through the condo fees and other sources such as parking fees, laundry fees, etc. And then shows all the items that have been purchased and repaired and maintained over the past year or more. Item number two is the budget. This is the projected budget for the next year, estimated costs of any repairs or improvements. And the most important thing, as far as I'm concerned, is the condo disclosure, item number one. This is the most important. It will show whether there's any increases being planned, any major repairs or renovations being considered, and any special assessments coming along the way. Any lawsuits or insurance claims pending against the condo and other important factors like this. Keep in mind that as a buyer, you are buying a small percentage of the entire building. This is most certainly uh, information you should have. And a final point, take a look at the date on the disclosure certificate. It has to be dated within 90 days of the offer. So for example, if you're making an offer on a condo on April 15th and the disclosure certificate is dated January 5th, it would not be acceptable. You should be asking for a new one. I had a great reminder on a jeweler's business card a little while back, and it said, if you don't know jewelry, know your jeweler. And so we can say, if you don't know real estate, know your realtor. If you're thinking of buying or selling a condo or a house, please call me anytime for a free consultation. Any realtor can send you listings by email, but my buyers are among the best prepared in the market. After we've had our consultation, let's go condo shopping. Conversely, if you're thinking of selling your condo, please call me. As a condo owner myself, I do understand them a fair deal better than the average agent, and this can come in handy when your prospective buyers have questions. So call me anytime. It's Bo Kaufman at Remax Performance Realty. My direct cell is area code 204 at 333-2202. Till next time, bye-bye.